Hey, Shalom. Uh, praises to you, how about Shem? How was Shai? About Shem Rekakwadash, ain't much mercy to you, sincere brothers out there at the true house of David. All you believers that's with the Lord and that um, manifesting uh, the manifesting who we are in this time and understanding in the covenant of the Lord. And Shalom and all you false prophets out there, you false brethren that spy out our liberty that we have in Yahweh Shai. Um, so it's all about Yahweh Shai's doctrine and how Yahweh Shai moved. You have to move accordingly to how Yahweh Shai moved. Um, the Lord told us not to be slothful. And he told us to feed his sheep. And he said he was in the temple uh, daily. You know, you have to move along those lines. You know, at least uh, some, you know, according to like that. Because the Lord said that the elect would cry out day and night. And you have to be crying out. You know, it's just like if you like something, you really wouldn't cry against it but if you didn't like something you would really cry out against it so that's what the lord is uh that's what the lord means that's why the lord said that it's best that he be about his father's business and part of the lord's and being about his lord's business is actually feeding the sheep uh yahweh shai he went on a three-year run which when he went on that three year run, um, all he was doing was teaching um, all he was doing was teaching Yahweh Shai. He, he was teaching uh, the new covenant in the sense of getting men to repent. That, that's what this is about. It's about uh, men repenting and just changing their mind and changing their heart. Um, this is something that you have to understand too because um, a lot of guys uh, are not pushing repentance until the new covenant. That's what this is about. And the new covenant is only for the ones that were predestined anyway that actually have the heart that really are going to believe. So you have to understand that uh, Yahweh Shai in this time uh, the scriptures tell you in John um, 14 that Yahweh Shai is not manifest to many. And what you have to understand by that is just the Lord had a, um, he had work that he had to do and he had to come here and finish it you know not drag ass not to be a part of the world not to be noticed or recognized or have a reputation but to do a work and just to finish the work like he tells you in um uh the lord tells you that in john 17 he said i finished the work so the whole thing is to do the work so men can repent, so they can be fed of Yahweh Shai. The, the scriptures say, feed the sheep. And when you when you feed the sheep, um, you're, you're feeding them because you have compassion on them and you're doing it out of the sincerity of your heart and you're not doing it because um, you want a place in the world or to look like, like something. You're doing it because the Lord told you to feed the sheep. A lot of guys are just, uh, if they had pets, if they had a farm and they had animals on the farm, bro, they would starve them animals out. Because if you look at it in the spiritual sense, the Lord said he was in the temple uh, daily. So this is what you got to understand about this truth, man. Um, you had uh, that. That servant in, in, in Matthew 25, when um, the Lord called him um, slack 
he he was he he was slack in the spirit, and the Lord called him a, a wicked servant because he didn't use that talent that he had, and that's what we have in this time. A lot of guys are not really using those talents that the Lord have given them. They're being uh, slothful and slack with it. So you have to understand in this time if you if you really have those qualities, you're going to be using them because you're what you're crying out because you want to get out of here you know, and the thing that i see too is just a lot of guys don't really want to get out of here or they'll be crying out you see it's just like the the law in deuteronomy um if the if the if the woman cries out then that means she didn't want to be raped but if she if she not really crying out that means she wanted to be raped and a lot of you guys you like it here. You you want to stay here. You want to uh, be a part of this world. You see what I'm saying? You got, a lot of you guys are other world, so you you want to stay here and prolong it here. But to show you the spirit that the Lord was in, He was trying to to do the work and to finish it. Uh, John chapter 17, verse 1, it says, These words spake Yahweh shine, lifted up his eyes to heaven, and said, Father, the hour is come, glorify thy son, that thy son also may glorify thee. And this is the only reason that the Lord came to do the work that he was sent down to do. And it, it didn't take 30, 40 years, you see. And that's why the Lord said to the, the Son of Man, the foxes have holes and the birds have nests, but the son of man have nowhere to rest his head. So he just came here to do the work. He didn't come here to be praised or like the men like that. And he was back off into the father. You know, his session, his, uh, his ministry was three years. So this is what you got to understand, man. It's, it's about teaching the word, not holding on to the word, not being slothful. Um, a lot of guys are, are slothful, man. It, it is heavy. Luke uh, 3 and 23. And Yahweh shot himself to be about 30 of age, being as it was supposed, the son of Joseph, which was, which was the son of Haley. So Yahweh Shai ministry began as he was about to the, at, at the age of 30. And it was a quick ministry in and out. Like I was speaking on the other day, the Lord was showing you by his walk the, the heart of flesh and having compassion. Uh, he was showing you that you will have to believe. And the Lord said, what? Well, feed his sheep. These are things that the Lord did in that short amount of time span to finish this thing out. And that's what you're supposed to do. John 17 and 2, it says, as thou has given him power over all flesh and thou has give, thou should give eternal life to as many as thou has given, has given him right eternal life is, is only given unto the believers, the ones that is of Yahweh Shai's flesh. That's why when guys say they're not in the covenant, they don't believe it. It's just not that it's it's not for them. He didn't he didn't die for everybody uh, right now in this time. Only for the election that are of him that have his heart. It says, uh, and this is eternal life that they may that they might know the the only true power. And Yahweh uh, Shai Mashiach, whom thou hast sent, I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou hast givest, gavest me to do. I have finished the work which thou hast givest me to do. I have finished the work. Right, so the Lord finished the work, man. And when he said that, that was uh, that was actually it. He finished, he fulfilled what he had to uh, fulfill 
in a, in a short three years that he was uh, doing the work. And that's the attitude that we're supposed to have to get to get the work out there and to finish it, you know, not to be slothful and drag and be lukewarm and make up excuses because you really don't believe talking about you're waiting on spiritual power or you're waiting on healings. That just means you don't believe this like that. You see, that's all that fucking means. And a lot of you guys follow guys like that don't that don't really believe or really have their heart into it. And that just shows what type of discernment a lot of you guys have in these last days. But that's why the scriptures say the elect, they won't be deceived by a lot of you guys that ain't moving the right way. So at the end of the day, it ain't about the world or views or subscribers. It's only about the election and it's only about if men are actually repenting. That's all it's about. You know, the, the rest of everybody doing what they're doing, being slothful, you know, with the Lord's word, it this don't matter to them. This is John 20 and um, 22. It says, and when he has said this, uh, matter of fact, John 20. And 20, it says, and when he had said, and when he had so said, he showed unto them his hands and his head. Then were the disciples glad when they saw the Lord. Right. So this is when the Lord came back after the, uh, after the three days. John 20 and 21, it says, Then Yahweh Shai, then said Yahweh Shai to them again, Peace be unto you, as the Father hath sent me, even so, so send I you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said unto them, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. You see that? So the, the Holy Ghost went back. It went out in them times back then. And that's why you have uh them and acts they were receiving the holy ghost and they were prophesying so it wasn't the time in acts where people said they was waiting on spiritual power or they were waiting on a new body that 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 shit never came up in the book of acts that's all false doctrine right now and the apostles in yahweh shai they were doing the healings so you wasn't waiting on you know once you were once the Holy Ghost came upon you, you wasn't waiting on no fucking healings or you wasn't waiting on no spiritual power. Or you wasn't saying your shit like that. You were actually able to uh, do the work that the Lord sent you out to do. And you by you actually believing um, that gave you the ability to do those healings so Yahweh I told them apostles hey receive my spirit right so the doctrine is the doctrine of Yahweh Shai you have to walk like Yahweh Shai you have to uh, emulate how he how he walked how his walk was you know what he was doing you have to move like that not like how camps are moving not like how a lot of guys are are doing the thing is uh doing what what Yahweh Shai was doing Acts 10 and 38 how Yahweh how the most high power anointed Yahweh Shai of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. And he went out doing good, healing all that were oppressed of the devil. And God was, for God was with him, right? So if you find yourself, say, you're teaching this and you're waiting on power, then basically this, you're, you're, you're teaching this in unbelief. Because at this time, it's just about believing. And a lot of guys, they don't have any uh, discernment like that.
uh, Mark 1 and 15. It says, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel, right? The gospel is in the New Testament. So you have to repent and believe it. You don't have to wait on a new body. So guys that say they're waiting on uh, powers of healing and shit like that, that means they haven't totally repented and they really don't believe. That's what that means. So guys that are saying shit like that, if you're watching them, then you're in a state of doubt and unbelief too. So when you go back to John 17, when the Lord said that it was finished, it was, it was finished. And so by the Lord coming, the time is fulfilled. That's why this new law is not written on everybody's heart. You see what I'm saying? So and then you could actually see that, too. You could actually see that. Mark uh, 16 and 16, it says, He that believeth is baptized and shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. Right, a lot of guys don't really believe in Yahweh Shai like that. They don't believe in the new covenant. So a lot of guys, they're damned. Like the, like right here, let me, let me read this real quick. <laughs> So it, it is heavy because guys are unbelieving. They don't believe in the new covenant. And the, the new covenant did happen. It's just ha it's just heavy because the Lord didn't give men the heart and the eyes and the understanding to believe. John 3 and 18. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already. <sighs> Because he have not believed in the name of the of the only begotten Son of the Lord. And this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world. And men love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil. Exactly. So that's why a lot of guys, they, they're they like in the middle with it. And then guys say they're waiting on something. That means that they haven't fully repented. That's why they say they're still waiting because they haven't really all the way repentant and they're still they still have that evil heart john 6 and 40 and this is the will of him that sent me that everyone would see if the sun right so everybody can't see if the can't see the sun because everybody don't have a pure heart the scriptures say uh those that have a pure part pure heart they will see power so everybody's not going to see Yahweh shy because everybody don't have that pure heart. Everybody don't believe. It says, and this is the will of him that sent me that everyone would see if God, see if the son and believeth on him may have everlasting life. And I will raise him up at the last day. Right. So if you don't understand the new covenant and you don't believe that the new covenant is here, you're not being raised up right now. Uh, the opposite of that, you're being broken down right now. That's what's happening. John 8 and 24, I said therefore unto you that ye shall die in your sins. For if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. So a lot of guys, they're going to die in these days because they're not. Um, uh, because men are not believing on Yahweh Shai and what he did. Because you're not following what he did. You're supposed to agree with what he did and follow the Lord and his example. Not no examples of camps or none of that shit. Acts 8 and 12. But when they believed, Philip preaching the things concerning the kingdom of God. See, it's all about the kingdom of God. And the kingdom of heaven is within you. So the kingdom of heaven and the true believers, the... The... um the the new heart and the new mind and the um the faith is going to be in the true believers the, those are the ones going to have their laws written in them not everybody because look at the majority of people they're carnal and then that's just another way to, for you to put the lord off to later 
So guys that's not believing on the son and, and actually moving like him, they're not of the Lord at this time. It says Acts uh, 8 and 12, and they believe Philip, Philip preaching the things concerning the kingdom of God. In the name of Yahweh Mashiach, they were baptized both men and women. So you have men and women that the spirit is actually hopping on in these times because of, because of the believers. So the faith coming only by hearing other men that actually have the faith. If other men actually don't, if men you're listening to really don't have the faith, then you're not getting any faith by actually hearing. So it's actually uh, heavy like that. Matthew 8 and 10, and when Yahushai heard it, he marveled and said to them that follow, Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, not in Israel, right? So our people, you know, guys like to say the nation, but the multitude and the nation of our people, the large majority of them, they're not going to have any faith in this last day. But you're going to have those few that are going to have that faith and that are going to believe in Yahweh Shai. Matthew 25 and 21, and the Lord said unto them, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. You see that? So the Lord told you to feed his sheep. He told you that he was in the temple daily. And the ones that have been sowing bountifully, they will reap bountifully. But the ones that have been showing, uh, sowing sparingly they're going to reap sparingly so you being faithful over those few things and having that belief and that trust because what's happening here is a lot of guys they're being found out that they're not of the lord and, and a lot of guys believe it or not the lord is trying men like the lord tried abraham and a lot of guys are failing because a lot of guys don't have the trust in the lord like, hey, they don't really believe like Abraham showed that he was willing to kill Isaac. A lot of guys are not showing that they're really all the way there. You see, so just something to keep in mind, man. Only the ones that are really the true believers, uh, the, Lord, the Lord is in them in his day. Hey, but with that, man, uh, repent and follow the ways of Yahweh Shai in his footsteps. If you're not following the ways of Yahweh Shai, then more than likely you're not of his. And with that, a shallow off. Doesn't out Pluto, doesn't out Pluto.